Now we are interested to find the differential length in case of a spherical coordinate system. For that purpose, we have considered the part of the sphere. And now we make a, this is the radius of the sphere. And this is the projection of that at the xy plane. A small angular displacement in the xy plane is made, that is d phi and a small angular displacement in case of theta is done here. So this displacement is reflected here. like that and this displacement is reflected here like that this is the differential object suppose the part of the radius is considered this one this is the object considered differential object consider to find the differential length. Projection of this will be here like that. Another marker is not working properly so I am unable to draw it clearly. So this is the differential ob object for which we are interested to find the differential length, surface and volume. So in this case, just name the different, this differential object A, B, C, D, E, F and G. To find the differential length, just take the maximum possible length displaced by this object that we can assume it can be AD. So AD will be equal to the AB BC plus CD. AB plus BC plus CD. And we know that the increasing direction of any vector is considered as the direction of unit vector. So this is the small radius dr and the direction of dr will be this one. So ab can be written as ab is changing in this direction. So AB can be written as DR in the direction of R plus BC can be written as, see this is the arc, this is the arc, this is the same arc. So arc can be, if it is a small angle displacement that is D theta, then this can be this radius with d theta you can say radius is projection of this at x y plane that is rho so it will be rho d theta uh, rho d phi if this angle is d phi the arc will be rho d phi that is very small uh, if d phi is very small and rho d phi that will be equal to this rho d phi and it will be rho d phi. So bc can be written as rho d phi and the direction of this phi is changing in this direction. So it is a phi direction. So bc is this one that is direction of a phi. bc is in the direction of a phi moving at the surface, tangent to the surface. 
and cd can be cd can be the moment of displacement it is due to the displacement d theta so this will be in the direction of a theta and the displacement will be this radius with the angular displacement so this is r this is d theta so this will be r d theta in the direction of a theta so everything is known from here rho we can say from the previous uh, uh, derivation we found that rho is r sin uh, theta so dr ar r sin theta d phi in the direction of a phi plus radius of the sphere d theta a theta so now ad is differential length that can be written like that so the proper writing in proper sequence you can say dr in the direction of r r d theta in the direction of a theta plus r sin theta d phi in the direction of a phi this is differential length now this is x y z the cross product of these two will give third one and cross product of these two will give third one similarly the cross product of r and theta will give the third unit vector because these three are orthogonal d a phi is uh, normal to the surface from parallel to the xy plane and a phi is normal to the uh, surface uh, from normal to the surface and uh, tangential to the a phi and a r is normal to the plane so in this way all are orthogonal in this way the differential length we came to know after that if we wish to find the differential surface then there is no need to find the surfaces and the find the uh, differential surface for all six surfaces just what you have to do multiply these two and the cross product of these two d r r d theta a r a theta will give you a phi so you can write r d r d theta a phi and d s can be written as multiplication of these two r square sin theta d theta d phi and cross product of this will give you a r because we know a r a theta a phi the product of these two will give you a r and a theta will give you a phi theta and phi will give you a r this and give you a theta in this way we can find the ds the third one that will be r dr sin theta sin theta 
d phi and a theta. Just I multiplied these two and the cross product of these two that becomes this one. Multiply this and this and cross product of these two will give you this one. Multiply this and this and cross product of this and this will give you this one. In this way differential surface can be find out. Now differential volume is important for us now. Differential volume can be multiplication of all these coefficients is in scalar form. So, dr or d theta r sin theta and d phi including all you can say r square dr d theta and sin theta d phi this is differential volume in this way in the case of the spherical coordinate system we find out differential length differential surfaces and differential volume for this differential object now let's summarize our discussion first thing that uh, we discussed a rectangular coordinate system in which the coordinates were x, y and z. The second thing was cylindrical coordinate system in which coordinates were radius that is represented with rho, phi azimuth angle, z third thing that we discussed was a spherical coordinate system and that was the variables in this case was radius of a sphere the uh, angular position from z axis and from x axis in x y plane and further we studied the transformation from a rectangular to cylindrical and cylindrical to rectangular. After that we discussed the transformation from a rectangular to spherical and spherical to rectangular. Additionally, we discussed the three different three important parameters that that was differential object analysis, differential length. surface and volume in case of all three coordinates. So we have discussed these things until now and that is it for today and next time we will discuss about differential operators. Thank you very much.